To take advantage of the language learning possibilities of auditory media, the Simon & Schuster Corporation developed their highly popular Pimsleur series. So far, Simon & Schuster has released 271 Pimsleur products across 35 languages, demonstrating a continuing interest in the Pimsleur methodology. Despite its price tag of some $650 for a full 45-hour set, the series remains immensely popular. Don't fool yourself thinking you can speak Spanish by reading a bunch of books. You didn't learn English that way. This has never felt like studying to me. It's more like a game. I even find the lessons enjoyable, in large part because I feel good about the progress I'm making, and I don't have to struggle so hard. They cost in the $200 range each, but they're well worth it. You definitely get your money's worth. Much better than rote learning, much better than slogging through verb tenses. You learn them without even realizing it. I have studied three other languages the conventional way. I can only speak a few words in these languages with much difficulty, and I pause to translate. This is learning a language the way it was meant to be, the way we learn our own primary language, by hearing it. This introduction also sensitized my ear so that I could follow Spanish TV and radio much more easily, thereby learning even more quickly. In one month of the Pimsleur program, I had about doubled my Spanish ability. I then purchased levels two and three. Since then, I've done Portuguese, Brazilian, French, German, and will be starting Russian soon. I can comfortably converse with anyone in any of those languages, except Russian, of course. Many audio language learning products simply present the listener with vocabulary and other items to memorize. By contrast, the Pimsleur series uses a methodology developed and made publicly available by the late UCLA professor, Dr. Paul Pimsleur. Here the listener is narrated through an imaginary scenario in a foreign city and asked to play the part of one of the characters. The narrator then provides prompts and just-in-time guidance on how to navigate the scenario. Suppose you are talking with a colleague about his upcoming business trip. Pregúntele a él. When are you leaving? ¿Cuándo se va? ¿Cuándo se va usted? How does your colleague tell you? No, in a week. No, en una semana. Try to say, Pablo is leaving too. Although the Pimsley series is more popular and effective than competing products, it still has much room for improvement. Sometimes it helps me to see a word in its spelling so I can retain it better. The program is definitely geared for adults. There is nothing cute at all, so not every child will be willing to buckle down and make sentences as directed. There are three things that everybody who has taken a Pimsleur course says about it. One, it's expensive. Two, it works. And three, I wish there was more. By effectively taking advantage of auditory media, the Pimsleur series has provided the language learning community with a methodology for creating immersive, fast-paced learning environments that are able to teach a foreign language without weighing the learner down in grammatical jargon. However, if we think about the areas in which the Pimsleur series struggles, creating extensive interactive worlds with engaging humorous narratives, they match up surprisingly well with the strengths of a video game. I want to ask if anybody is here. How would you say in Spanish? Can anybody attend to me? Uh, que alguien me atienda. Que alguien me atienda. Oye, quien? It seems you startled him. How will he tell you he's sorry and he wasn't expecting you? Lo siento, uh, no esperaba. Ah, lo, lo siento, señor, no esperaba. <laughs> You want to ask if he's a driver. Tu un conductor? Tu un conductor? Yo? Ha! No. No, no, no. Yo no los conduzco, solo los reparo. Notice how Glutus says, I repair them, simply by saying, Los reparo. Yo no los conduzco, solo los reparo. Me llamo Calavera, Manny Calavera. Me llamo Glotti. How does Glutus explain he doesn't have many visitors? No tengo muchas visitas. No tengo muchas visitas. He suddenly remembers. He has a message for us. Oye, tengo un mensaje para el señor Calavera. 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 Oye, tengo un m
Tengo un mensaje para el señor Calavera. He wants to tell you that your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could take the rest of the day off. Let's try this piece by piece. First, how does he say your driver said? Uh, tu conductor, tu conductor dijo. dijo. Now, how does he continue with that Mr. Hurley said? Pierre Senor Hurley Pierre dijo. dijo. How does he finish that he could take the rest of the day free? Que podría tomarse libre el resto del día. Que podía tomarse libre el resto del día. You tell him it seems you need a new driver. Parece que necesito un conductor nuevo. Oh! Yo. Um, yo. Um, yo estaría de acuerdo. Notice how Glotus uses the idiom. Estaría de acuerdo. To say, I would agree. Um, yo estaría de acuerdo. You ask him if he would like to be your substitute driver. ¿Quieres ser el sustituto de mi conductor? ¿Yo? Uh, pues no, lo siento. No puedo. Las reglas. You tell him, come, Glotus, I need you to be my driver. Venga, Glotis, necesito que seas mi conductor. No, no puedo. Soy... soy... soy demasiado grande. You tell him, you're not very big. The cars are too small. Tú no eres muy grande. Los coches son demasiado pequeños. Glotus suddenly has an idea. Oye, he tenido una idea. How does he begin to say that I'm not authorized to modify the cars? Uh, no estoy autorizado a modificar los coches. Pero no estoy autorizado a modificar los coches. How does he continue that I'm not authorized to modify the cars without a work order from above? Pero no estoy autorizado a modificar los coches sin un orden, una orden de trabajo no de arriba. Pero autorizado a modificar los coches sin una orden de trabajo de arriba. ¿Una orden de trabajo? Sí. For many language educators, creating a video game seems too complex a task to undertake without extensive funding and support. However, by using free community tools to build on top of existing games, educators can create engaging learning games in five easy steps. First, we use the community tools Lab Creator Dumper and the Grim Fandango Dialogue Editor to extract the language data used in the Spanish version of the game. Second, we created a script that includes English narrations using the methodology outlined in Dr. Paul Pimsler's research manuscript. Third, we recorded and inserted narrations into the existing game audio files. Fourth, we edited the game's internal text to include helpful annotations. And finally, we placed the edited versions of the language data back into the game. <laughs> 